Hello, everyone. I hope that you're doing well. I wanted to give you a little bit more thorough of an update than I had given with the short video that I had put up. So I'm going to bring you to a video and then I'm going to read an article to you real quick. Back with a tragic update now. The body pulled from the Houston Ship Channel on Friday is confirmed to be 26-year-old Delano Burks. He was last seen alive leaving a bar in the Heights November 13th. Cause of death has yet to be determined. Houston police are still looking for any information as to what happened. Crime Stoppers is offering a $5,000 reward for information leading to an arrest. So... Did you hear how they said that Crime Stoppers is still offering money, right? And so that was my first indication that I was like, hold up, hang on a second. Uh, I don't think that this is as cut and dry as we're thinking that it is, right? And so let me bring you over here and I will read this to you. So a man's body found floating on water at the Houston ship channel on uh, Friday is believed to be that of missing 26 year old Delano 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 Burks a Texas EquiSearch founder Tim Miller told KPRC2 on Monday Houston police said that a tugboat employees found the man floating in a body of water and reported it to the authorities around 10 30 a.m on Friday HPD's dive team arrived and retrieved the body and then it said an autopsy is being performed by the Harris County Medical Examiner to determine the cause of death. He was last seen leaving a bar in the 1200 block of 20th Street, November 13th, according to police. And so I had shown you on my last video the distance, right? I put it on like, I believe the 20th Street and had taken it over to the Houston um, ship uh, what, what were they calling it? I forget exactly what it was being called. Um, what exactly did they refer to it as? I don't remember, but I, I, I had shown you guys the distance, right? Because I had shown you the video that they had found a body, right? And so I didn't confirm. We didn't know for sure if it was him or not, but it did turn out that it apparently is him. And they are uh let me check this one really quick and see so uh, i'm gonna bring you over to this article and read this one to you as well and show you what it says right so the case of missing houston man last seen in the heights mid-november has taken a tragic turn according to family members a body found in the water friday at the port of houston that's what it was called <laughs> the port of houston is it um is Delano, a 26 year old. And Burks was last seen leaving a bar in the Heights area November 13th, about 15 miles from where his body was located, which makes sense because when I was searching the, what was it, Port of Houston? <laughs> I forgot already. Terrible. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. And so when I was searching the Port of Houston, they said the specific area that it was. And I didn't put the, I didn't drop down directly on the exact area. And so I came up with close to 17-ish miles. So 15 miles makes, it makes sense. Um, <clears throat> but it goes on to say employees on a tugboat found him floating in the water Friday morning in Houston. Uh, same thing. Okay, located at the, okay, 9600 block of high level road. I didn't put in that exact address, right? So. Medical examiners also confirm late Tuesday afternoon what Burke's family told Fox 26 earlier Monday afternoon. The missing person case is now considered a homicide investigation. Yeah. Uh, an autopsy will be conducted to determine his cause of death. The Crime Stoppers of Houston is offering $5,000 reward for information leading to the arrest in this case. If you have any information, you're urged to contact the police. And... I will say that I think if they're still looking to get a cause of death, right, I, I had thought 
to myself, if it was drowning, they should have had that answer during the autopsy uh, right off the get-go, right? And so the fact that they didn't, and we're still asking for a tip to come in and offering money, I was like, oh boy. And um, yeah, it, it is now no longer a missing case, but a homicide investigation. And so I figured I should give you guys a little bit more of a uh, in-depth explanation on what happened and where the case stands now. But uh, please pray for his family. Um, definitely pray for his mother and his wife, who both uh, were struggling really, uh, really bad with this. And so please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And I will keep you updated if any information comes out with um, what's going on with the case. But I hope that you're all having a nice night. I will talk to you all very, very soon.